Okay. I am back. So, um, I just want to give you guys part two of my haircut. So, had a bit of buyer's remorse. I got home and started styling it and I was freaking out because I didn't realize she cut so much of the back off um, or the sides. Now, I'm going to show you guys the cut on here in just a minute, but... It wasn't what I asked for. The shape is similar to what I asked for, but not the length. I had more, more than enough length for her to give this a more um, fuller rounded cut in the back because it should have been a little bit longer. Um, uh, two years ago, this is this is a little bit more edgy. This is what I wanted, but I had come to grips with the fact that I did want to have a little bit more hair on this cut because... Um, you know, I didn't want to start all the way over. I wanted some of my hair. So, yeah, it was what I asked for. However, I do like it now. But when I say probably, it took me a few days. It took me a few days to really be like, okay, this is the cut that I got. This this is what's on my head. I'm going to have to be okay with it and keep it moving. <laughs> I'm happy, okay, but I'm going to have to rock it. To me, this is a very sharp cut. It's very, um... It's a very edgy cut. So, um, you know, and I wanted an edgy cut, but again, I wanted to kind of play it safe and just ease into it. Like, you know, trim here, some there, trim a little bit more here. And then just, you know, if I wanted it shorter, go with shorter. Um, but now, nah, y'all, she just chopped off my hair. Like, she chopped it off. So, um, and I knew something was up when she grabbed the clippers instead of shears I thought she was going to take you know some scissors first and you know trim around it kind of break me into it because uh, you know when I got my hair cut before Barbara did he just didn't want to just chop it off he gave me some time to get there and had to keep telling him lower lower a little bit lower come on dude lower she didn't do me like that nah she went in for the kill and was just like all right gone and I was just like the hell <laughs> like it was just god um now the color the color was not quite the color i asked for matter of fact the color was actually supposed to be magenta like my shirt it probably looks that way because i have on this the shirt and this lipstick so it probably actually looks like it matches but the color is not the color i wanted the color i wanted was um just a little bit more purple however she didn't want to over process my hair that i could respect because she had to dye it red and then go back and put purple on top of it and she didn't want to put purple on top of it twice it just would have been just overkill so that I could appreciate. Um, I actually do really, really like the color now. Um, or, or not now. I liked it when she did it. It wasn't the color I wanted, but it was just like, man, this is such a pretty color. I may not come back to get it even more magenta. Like, I think I could rock with this. And so it's not quite a red and it's not quite purple, but it's just, it's probably more of a burgundy and I like it. So um, the color I was okay with, although it wasn't what I asked for. Um... The cut, still for the most part getting used to the cut. Um, I do, I would say this though, and I'm going to put some better pictures. Like I told you guys, my lighting is not the best on here. Um, but I, and I'm just, I'm like, I'm just <laughs> I'm all in it. <laughs> I look crazy right now. And so I'm going to show you guys some better pictures because this is not, um, this is not doing it justice when I say like, this is actually a really thing. She did a bang up job. This is a bang and cut. Like, I, I will give her that. It was not what I asked for. However, I do like it. Um, it took me a few days, but I do like it. And I've gotten some really good compliments. So I think I'm starting to get used to it now. Um, and if you guys want her information, let me know and I will send it to you. Um, I won't just throw it down in the comments section or description box. Just let me know if you want her information. I'm currently in Maryland, so if you are looking for someone, she's in the Glen Burnie area, and I'll be happy for her information below. Um, I will have to say this, though. This is something I'm not used to. So tell me why I threw on my bonnet. I was so tired one night. I threw on my bonnet. I didn't give a damn about how my hair was going to look in the morning. I just, I was exhausted. Threw on my bonnet, woke up. 
but I tell you, I didn't touch not a thing on my head. All I did was put on my, my makeup and left the house. Like, I didn't touch my hair. I didn't even do this. I didn't, nothing. I got up. My hair looked perfect. Oh, and I say perfect, perfect. I did nothing. And just, I was like, let me just get up my face real quick. Do this, do that. And I was out the door. I was just like, okay, this haircut is the truth. Okay, if I can do that and not have to do anything else, honey, I'm straight. I'm good. Like, my complaints are at a minimum. Like, I'm good. So, I wasn't able to do that with longer hair. With longer hair, I had to fix that thing. I had to do something. <laughs> because uh, long hair just, it didn't, it didn't allow you to be great all the time. <laughs> not all the time did my, my long hair allow me to be great. However, this cut, this cut is giving me life, y'all. It's giving me life. So, um, I am going to put some pictures here at the end just to kind of um, show you in better lighting what this cut really looks like. Um, and again, if you want her her information, I have a shop that I found here in Maryland. I will be or if you're in the DMV area and you don't mind traveling, I will give that to you all. All right, I am out of here. And I hope you lovelies had an awesome week this week. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.